When we talk about marketing in the music industry, what people really want to know is how to build a fan base. When you're building a fan base, you are creating a community. The most successful artists create experiences for their fans and bring people together through storytelling, eye-catching visuals, and a sense of belonging. There are people so capable and so passionate who won't succeed because they don't know how to tell their story. Or even worse, they do and no one is listening. I want to make sure that when you tell your story, people are listening. Hello and welcome to Your Band is a Brand, a podcast established to bring bands, brands, and businesses together to help independent artists grow and scale their business in the music industry. I am your host, David Key, and today we're going to be talking about marketing. When we talk about marketing in the music industry, what people really want to know is how to build a fan base. Traditional marketing focuses on how to sell a product or service. Being in a band is about so much more than selling music. When you're building a fan base, you are creating a community. To understand the core of this community and the best way to market it to fans, be sure to do your work in developing that brand. The most successful artists create experiences for their fans and bring people together through storytelling, eye-catching visuals, and a sense of belonging. Catch their attention, tell them your story, and tell them why they should be a part of it. Simon Sinek coined the phrase, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. There are artists more talented than you who won't succeed. There are people with more compelling stories than you who won't succeed. There are people so capable and so passionate who won't succeed because they don't know how to tell their story. Or even worse, they do and no one is listening. I want to make sure that when you tell your story, people are listening. I'm going to do that by talking about your band as a business and reviewing traditional marketing concepts through the lens of an artist. In order to build a fan base, you will need to develop a process for turning listeners into fans. The best way to visualize this process is with a marketing funnel. Building a fan base starts with three elements. Increasing the number of people listening to your music by catching their attention. Two, increasing the number of people at your concerts by telling your story. And three, increasing the level of engagement you have with your fans and that they have with one another by building a sense of belonging. In terms of traditional marketing, you are building awareness and interests, creating desire for a customer to purchase your product or service, and causing them to take a desired action such as making that purchase or signing up for your email list. In 2008, Kevin Kelly published an essay titled The 1000 Fan Theory, where he outlined a framework for how creators can establish roughly $100,000 in revenue each year if a fan were to spend an average of $100 on their products and services. This is an excellent goal, but when you're first starting out, it's better to focus on your first 100 fans. If they enjoy your music and are invested in your story, they will share your music and your message, helping you get the remaining 900 fans. Growth can have compounding effects, but growth is hard and takes persistence. Not everyone who hears your band will follow you online. Not everyone who follows you online will buy a ticket to your concert. And not everyone who goes to your concert will become a loyal fan. If you want to make 100 loyal fans this year, you might need to play for 1,000 people. How can you play for 1,000 people? Get 10,000 new listeners. These are just round numbers, but let's talk about how we can break that down. How can you get 10,000 people to hear your music? There are four primary ways to reach new fans 
and I'll be sure to do an episode on each one of these. Direct promotion. This one requires time and energy. Early on, you might want to send the link of your new song to all your friends and family. Have each of your bandmates do the same. Pass flyers out at a local concert. Hang posters at local music venues or spend time engaging fans of similar bands on social media. This method is effective and cheap, but it can be time consuming. The second is playing live. This is a natural next step because in order for someone to become a true fan, they need to hear your songs brought to life. Number three is streaming and social media. These are considered to be the most viral components of growing a fan base, but they're also the most unpredictable. How do you please an algorithm on a streaming platform and get added to new playlists? By getting more listeners, specifically in the first week of a new release. Algorithm playlists are a great way emerging artists can get exposure on Spotify. Short form video, including YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels, have a potential of going viral and are a great way to give your fans a preview of a song before it's released. Number four, Digital advertising, it is the most effective method and the most expensive. This is how successful acts reach a majority of their new listeners. I highly encourage you to start on YouTube by promoting your first music video with 15 second non-skippable ads. Focus on the catchy part of the song that has eye-catching visuals. Drive them to a single page on your website where you have more content, links to your streaming, and an option to subscribe to your newsletter. Next, we will talk about how to create a marketing plan. The best way to make marketing a consistent part of your business and to attract new fans is to have a plan and execute. Here's a simple outline of six components of a great marketing plan. Number one, market research and target audience. Spotify for artists, Apple Music for artists, and YouTube Analytics are useful in understanding the demographics of your listeners, what content gets the highest engagement, and where your listeners are geographically. This data will be very useful when it comes to digital advertising. Start by targeting fans locally. Number two, marketing strategies. A market strategy focuses on the four Ps, product, price, place, and promotion. For product, some businesses have the best product, with music, that's subjective. So just ensure your recordings are professional quality and when it comes to your merchandise, that if it's comfortable, someone will wear it more frequently. Price. Competing on price is largely ineffective because music is highly commoditized and streaming has given people access to millions of songs for free. Ensure your merchandise is competitively priced and you are good to go. Place. Place is where people can find your product. Make sure that your music is distributed on all digital platforms. Check out DistroKid for affordable distribution. Also, make sure you have a website to boost your search engine results or SEO. Promotion. I highly encourage you to spend the most effort on this category. Consider what platforms you will use to promote your music on. Focus on finding unique ways to promote your music and engage your fans. The third component of a successful marketing plan is to set measurable goals and understand the metrics you will use to measure your success. Short-term goals can include monthly or quarterly goals. Long-term goals can take a year or more. An example would be 5,000 monthly listeners on Spotify by the end of the year, $500 in merchandise sales each month, or 100 new subscribers on your newsletter each quarter. If your goal is to get 1,000 new fans in a year, you would need an average of 83 new fans per month. Determine early on how you will measure your number of fans. Remember, the number of followers you have is not the number of fans you have. A better indicator might be the number of people who subscribe to your newsletter or who bought your new record. The fourth component of a great marketing plan is to understand your timeline and set expectations for growth. Create short-term and long-term objectives that complement your goals. The objective behind gaining new fans could simply be 
to build a welcoming community around your music. The objective behind the goal of selling merchandise could be to ensure that you have enough funding to keep writing, recording, and releasing music. Number five, budget. Decide how much you will spend each month. I encourage you to start with $50 to $100 per member of the band per month. The sixth and final component of your marketing plan, tools and technology. Think about the tools you will need to execute your marketing plans. Tools could include software to design marketing materials or a video camera to get high quality video footage. Use technology to track progress towards your goals, be more efficient with your resources, and save yourself time and energy. Use a social media scheduler to publish content more regularly, or try using ChatGPT to rewrite your band's biography. To summarize this episode, I want you to focus on three things. Getting new listeners by capturing their attention, increasing the number of people at your shows by telling your story, and creating a community where people have a sense of belonging. Reach new listeners through direct promotion, playing concerts, streaming and social media, and digital advertising. Find special and unique ways to engage your fan base and encourage them to interact with one another. Your biggest fans will become your biggest supporters and promoters. Create a marketing plan that highlights your goals and objectives, your timeline, how you will do it, the tools you'll need, and how much it will cost. I wish you luck, and I look forward to diving into more detail on the marketing components we've discussed today. For more content like this, subscribe to our podcast and our newsletter at yourbandisabrand.com. Thank you for listening. I am your host, David Key, and I will see you on the next episode.